Thought I'd go ahead and do a boots on the ground video, although I'm wearing my dingy tennis shoes and not my boots. But uh, I thought I'd talk to you about what, how I look at a house, and uh, not just because I'm a real estate agent, but kind of how I always looked at houses. A little personal story in upstate New York. Uh, I was being relocated in, uh, out to Rochester, New York, and my wife and the real estate agent spent the day looking at homes, and they came and picked me up after work and said, we got one we really like, let's go out and take a look. So I pulled up, and uh, they're walking around the house, and they're just enamored by the place because it's full of antiques. And right off the bat, I, I'm not a big fan of antiques, but to each his own. And so looking around, show me this, look at this, look at that. Don't they have it decorated nice? And so we toured through the house, we go in the backyard, and the realtor, and I really liked her, and she said, well, Rick, what do you think? I said, um, I don't like it. And my wife was devastated. What do you mean you don't like it? I go, well... Um, there's two leaks in the living room, there's one in the kitchen, and there's one in the master bedroom. And from what I can tell walking around outside, I think the roof is shot. Um, none of the air filters have been cleaned. They're all dirty, they're all being sucked up into the ceiling, which means that the air conditioning probably is going to need some work. Looks to me like the roof is shot when I look at it from the outside and the place is infested with bugs. And uh, out in the patio here, it's June and there's standing water. Out here it doesn't get any sunshine, so this is going to be nothing but a uh, mosquito pit. And she goes, what do you mean it's bug infested? And I said, well, watch. There's bees coming out there. There's a nest of bees coming out here, and I'm pointing it out. And I said, I, I just don't like it. And uh, she goes, wow, I never noticed that. I go, well, you guys were looking at the floor plan and the furniture, and I was looking at everything else. So I'm going to show you when I walk into a house what what usually catches my attention. So we're gonna to tour one now. Okay, this house is a flip. You can hear the echo. So there's a lot of things I look at. I kind of start with finish work. Uh, this thing's been on the market 140 days and it stinks. And that happens if you haven't flushed the toilet or run the water for a long time. So it smells pretty bad. So. I go in the house, I just kind of first, I look around, I look at the ceiling, like I said, I like to see if there was uh, any water leaks or anything, but then if it's a flip, I kind of look at the finish work, because the finish work tells me a lot about what else they may have taken shortcuts on. Now, I'm not an inspector, but I'm not going to write an offer on the house if I think the house is going to be a hot mess. Why bother? So I like to look around. So I take a look at the floorboards down here. And uh, you can see that, you know, the finish work wasn't, wasn't terrific. Not a big deal. Um, some cracks along the windows here, both sides. Finish work down here isn't great. They kind of put the outlet back on, but didn't do a great job with it. Um, they did put in a new ceiling fan. There's been some water damage up there that you can see, uh, but it's been probably fixed. The roof on this one looks pretty new. So again, I'm just looking around at different stuff while other people are looking at the floor plan. Uh, got some nice fixtures in here. They've done a nice job at the kitchen. Again, I'm looking at the flooring and I'm not impressed. And this thing's been on the market 140 days. You'd think they'd fix this. So it's hard to overlook stuff like that. And so while they improved the lighting in here, they kept this old, dirty, dingy ceiling fan in here. Can't help but get my attention. We won't go in the backyard yet, but let's walk around. Let's look at the kitchen. Um, they didn't change the backsplash. They kept the current backsplash. The cabinets look okay. Again, I like to look up See if I see any stains or anything, or sometimes you see areas where they've cut the sheetrock out. This usually tells me a story when I'm in a house, and I see that that is just caked in dust. Not this one, but they're caked in dust, and then you can see that the filter is being pulled up. That means it's not getting good airflow. And an inspector will tell you whether the air conditioning works or not, but for me, that screams lack of deferred maintenance. If they're not even changing that, and what else are they not working on? So they put new carpet in here. And we're going to walk around and take a look and see what else is going on. Sometimes in the bathrooms, you'll see 
intense calcium buildup. You know, they don't have a water softener and you'll see showers that are just caked with calcium and even shower heads that are just caked with calcium. And uh, that might mean that your water heater is probably full of calcium and not operating efficiently. So that doesn't mean you're not going to offer, you know, write an offer on the house. But, you know, you're trying to, at this point, decide if you want to write an offer on the house. So you're going to kind of start looking at some things and take that into consideration. Because sometimes you want to send in an offer and say, I want to explain to you why this offer is a little low. And the reason it's a little low is because I kind of found some things that I think uh, are worrisome, like the floor I saw here. You know, I think we might need a new AC, so I'm taking that into consideration. Don't use the inspection period as a time to renegotiate the price. That's just, that's not when you do that. Do it when you submit the offer and make sure that your agent's telling them why your offer is priced like it is. Now the backyard here, um, it's kind of interesting. You come out from the living room to get to it. They're really, I don't think there's much of an area to get to the pool from the house. Let's check, I forgot, so. Yeah, that's it. You gotta walk all the way around from your living room to get to the pool. I like it a little bit closer. A lot of fruit trees and a dog. Um, so then again, we take a look at the house. We look at the air conditioning unit up there and that's the uh, roof air. Um, some of the houses have um, these drain valves that come out like down here and they're one up on top. Sometimes you'll see rust coming out of it. And when you see rust, stains on it that means that the drain valve was clogged and it overflowed up on top and they let it coat in the pan and uh it's probably pretty close to make sure i get this thing closed off pretty close to causing leaks in your ceiling and uh causing a real mess so i like to look at that too so again i'm not trying to pretend to be an inspector but as long as we're looking at the house you can make a decision on the floor plan pretty easy you can walk in and go, I like this floor plan. But, and so while most couples that I'm with, while they're walking around looking at the house, I'm kind of picking it apart a little bit. And uh, if I see some things that I think are really a big problem, I'm just gonna tell them, well, you know, if we write an offer on this, expect this uh, inspection report to be kind of brutal. Because based on what I'm seeing, I think there's gonna be a lot of other things that need repair. Uh, this laminated floor, um, it's kind of squishy, which means they've got padding underneath it, but it's got scratches. And then you can kind of see out there where it's kind of bowing up in a few spots. So you would probably want to eventually replace all this. Um, it's really dirty. There's crack in the tile there. Those things will really bother you later. And I don't know why when they do a good job of coming in and cleaning and repainting, why they leave all these dingy outlet covers on. They're only 40 cents a piece. They don't match. Put in some new ones. It's the little things like that that drive you crazy. Same in here, just put in white ones. So you've got these dingy beige ones everywhere. See that? So I guess I'm saying, no wonder this has been on the market for 140 days, huh?